Uh, Marcus, welcome to Oldham, or should I say Thank welcome you. back. You had a really good spell training with us last year, but how exciting is this opportunity? Oh, no, I'm buzzing. Um, I've always wanted to play for Oldham. I, out of any club, I've always said to my dad since I was a little lad, I want to play for Oldham. Used to ball ball here, been down watching for years, so as soon as I got the phone call from Mike to say, we want to sign you professionally, it was an easy, easy year straight away. It was probably one of the easiest decisions I've ever made, so I'm absolutely buzzing. And the arrangement is that you're going to train with Oldham all year, but play with Waterhead, who we've forged really strong links with, and Clifford did really well getting yeah. promotion last year, so how's that going to work for you? I think, it's, I think it's the best outcome for me. It means I'm going to be playing every week still and getting game time, but then I'm still going to be developing. I'm only young, I'm only 18, so being here on a Tuesday all season and training all pre-season, I'm going to hopefully develop physically. And then my skill-wise, being around players like Jordan Turner, being coached by Joe Wardle and Sean, it's just going to, it's going to, it's best for me to develop. So I'm looking forward to it. Long, you tell us a bit about this lad. What have you seen in him so far? A oh, really humble bloke who come in. You know, we've had him in in pre-season, you know, since last year, and you know, he gets on with all the lads. Uh, intelligent, uh, learning his craft, like he's just spoke about his back row. Um, so, yeah, lads love him. You know, he's part of the team now, and uh, we're glad to have him on board. And a big part of what we're trying to achieve here is the links with our community club. So this is this is a real success story, isn't it? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, I've spoke about it so many times that you know I've got lads in Oldham what leave us and go elsewhere. Well, we've got Marcus and he's part of this journey what we're on now. So, you know, it's great to have him on board and, you know, it's part of his development, but, you know, we want to tap into these, there's more people out there like Marcus, so we want to tap into these lads uh, who can, you know, yeah, be a part of this, part of this beautiful, beautiful club. And this will give your teammates and players coming up, coming through like you, real hope that, you know what, there is a pathway there now yeah. to, from up through the ranks and play for your hometown club. Yeah, I think that's a big thing for it. I want to be like, I want those kids now to see that they can do it because I've gone and done it. So there is there is a way that if you're on the pathway, you're going to end up playing for Oldham or signing. So I'm just the example of that now. So yeah. And you've not got a bad mentor here. With no. The guy alongside you. No, not all. Not all. My dad, when we first come, that's what my dad was saying to me. He's like, oh my God, said don't for sure long. So it's. Picking up little tips off him and then Joe, it's just, it's great. Yeah, it's well, it's really great, great to have you as part of the squad for 2025. Final thought from you, Longy. What do you want to see from the likes of Marcus joining your squad for 2025? What, what do you want from him? You spoke about, you know, having that winning mentality of, you know, you know thriving, doing things a lot faster. You know, whether it's accelerating into collision or whatever kick chairs. I think all the little things what I see, what our lads do, I see that in Marcus. And that's what we're going to take them on board with. So that's what we're going to double down on this year.